Sir, if I may welcome you here this afternoon to this small ceremony to open the Jersey General Hospital Nightingale Wing. I would, of course, normally present all the key players who had a tremendous part in making this wing come alive. But in the circumstances of today, if I may, I would hand over directly by presenting to you the bailiff, Mr. Timothy Lecoq. Your Royal Highness, Your Excellency, Chief Minister Konetab, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to begin this brief ceremony to mark the opening of the Jersey General Hospital Nightingale Wing. Uh, may I start, uh, sir, by adding my thanks to Your Royal Highness for being here with us today. We are very grateful indeed. It's quite amazing to realize that if we'd all been standing here five weeks ago, uh, we would have been in an open, grassy playing field. It's rather different now. We are surrounded by a fully functioning hospital wing which has been built uh, in response to and to protect islanders from the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a truly remarkable achievement and it's testimony to what can be accomplished when we unite to serve a common purpose. In this case, this purpose has been achieved as a result of the cooperation between government, particularly health and community services, and the construction industry and J3. And you will hear about the timelines shortly, and I'm sure you will agree with me that this has been an exceptional project and a magnificent response to a challenge. Three of the ministers most involved in this project are here, the Chief Minister, the Health Minister, and the Minister for Infrastructure. And we must acknowledge all that they and their respective teams have done to make this possible. The construction industry has pulled together and cooperated to complete this project. And I look forward very much to learning more about that in the video that we will see shortly. When I spoke on Liberation Day, I talked of the Jersey spirit. Well, this cooperation in the face of a crisis is an example of what I was talking about. We identified a need, worked out how to meet it, and got the job done. We now have a further line of defense against the COVID-19 pandemic. It is essential to have this, and Jersey people can have confidence that we are much better equipped to face this challenge as a result of all the work that has been done by those here today than would otherwise have been the case. So with those brief introductory remarks, I'd like now to invite the Chief Minister to say a few words to us. Your Royal Highness, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today marks the transition of this site from a construction project to an operational wing of the Jersey General Hospital, ready to assist islanders should it be required as we tackle the current pandemic. And I'd like to thank the J3 management team and all the partner organisations who have been involved in completing this impressive facility. Your effort and commitment to this vital community project has been exemplary. You've delivered a critical facility within an exceptionally tight project timeline and on budget. This facility is a critical part of our government's commitment to ensure that Jersey has sufficient healthcare capacity needed to protect the health and well-being of islanders should the number of local cases of coronavirus rise sharply. It will form an important part of our healthcare response to COVID-19 and will provide greater resilience as we start to move gradually through the levels of Jersey's safe exit framework. This building will not be here forever. And as we overcome this global crisis, both this facility and the stay-at-home measures will be scaled back appropriately and island life will return to a new normal. But we will not forget the skill and effort of the team who built it and the dedication and care offered by the healthcare staff who run it. So thank you. You will now see a short video summarising the construction of the structure and how we intend to run the site under Jersey's Health and Community Services. And His Excellency will then invite His Royal Highness to open the Nightingale Wing. Thank you very much.
It's 10 o'clock. Good morning. Our news today. Work's already begun on building a new field hospital for Jersey. The Nightingale Hospital is being put on the playing field at Millbrook. Building materials are expected to arrive in the island this weekend. A month ago, the number of COVID-19 cases was increasing every day. The curve was chasing us and we were very concerned. The government asked a small team of us from health to pull together a scope for a field hospital. In five days, those plans went from concept to a decision that needed to be built. I'll never forget that moment. Things move really fast. Building buildings is what we do. It's what I've known my whole career. It's what our team does on a daily basis. But this, this was different. We had the local knowledge and expertise to deliver a hospital, a place that will have the facilities to care for 180 people, if it comes to it. And we were given a deadline of just 25 days. In any other circumstance, you would have said it was near impossible. But you know, it's remarkable what can be achieved when the chips are down and when everybody pulls together. The build for the Nightingale Wing saw 541 construction workers inducted on site. 83 local subcontractors and suppliers were employed over the 25-day build. Every single one of them came with a can-do attitude. Competitors worked together, doing what they needed to be done to get the job done. You can imagine, it was tough at times. Long days and longer nights. But nobody complained, nobody said no, and there was no such word as can't. When we hit problems, we found solutions. We never looked back, we only looked forward. We had a deadline and we had to find a way. And this was a collaboration at every level. There's no compromise when it comes to patient care. We hand over this building in the hope that it won't be needed. But if it is, and the worst comes, we're ready. This has only been made possible because everyone has pulled together. Across every department, they've given their all. They've worked long hours every day while still delivering care at the General Hospital. It's shown what we can achieve together, and it's brought out the best in everyone. To think that this building wasn't here three weeks ago, it's just phenomenal. And it's been so humbling and an absolute credit to the talent and skills on this island. It's been exhausting, and yet it's been exhilarating. I personally want to say thank you to each and every person involved in the team. From the architects, the engineers, the teams we've worked with at both government and health, but also to the J3 management team and every single construction worker that's been involved on the project. What we have achieved in the last 25 days has taken a huge amount of sacrifice, not just as individuals, but also our families. The kindness of others has been truly overwhelming. When you know people are behind you, we really feel that we're in this together. On behalf of my colleagues, I want to pay tribute to you, the people of this island. By staying at home, we've really made a significant difference. We're so very grateful. Thank you. And so, sir, with that small video in place and the history of this very short build uh, portrayed for you, I hope you will now be willing and able to open this Nightingale wing of the Jersey General Hospital. Well, good afternoon, everybody. And um, sorry that I can't be there in person, but, uh, but thank you for inviting me to come and, and, uh, and, and be with you virtually to be able to open the, uh, the, wing, the Nightingale wing this afternoon. And, uh, and Your Excellency, very good to see you again, Bailiff Chief Minister. Uh, thank you for your kind remarks and, and for that excellent video. Um, my wife sends her apologies. Uh, she was hoping to join us, but she's actually uh, double booked today. She's working on um, some videos, talking to 
uh, nurses in seven Commonwealth countries at the moment, uh, ahead of International Nurses Day tomorrow, which seems very appropriate under the circumstances. Um, but hearing everything that has uh, on that video and what you've just said, this is evidently a, a particularly valuable uh, facility to help in your fight against COVID-19. And congratulations go to everybody on, on a remarkable achievement of building in such a short space of time. And you should be justifiably proud of, of what you've achieved. So well done. Um, and I'm also conscious that the timing is, is very significant in being so close to your anniversary of your Liberation Day. Um, now, uh, Sophie told me a little bit about her experiences uh, five years ago at the 70th anniversary. So um, I know how much this time of year means to you. Um, so I hope that in spite of the restrictions, you were able to at least mark the occasion, uh, or perhaps not with quite such the same spirit and enthusiasm as in normal years. Um, and funny enough, I was also uh, remembering the role of uh, the SS Vega um, and, um, and what uh, the sort of, I suppose, the beacon of hope that she must have brought in what were must have been especially dark days all those years ago. And Maybe this Nightingale Wing is a bit of a beacon of hope as well um, for all involved in this current fight. Um, and I just want to thank everyone uh, in the Jersey Health Service for working so hard, um, whether you're tending those suffering from COVID-19, looking after all the other patients who still need your care and attention, um, and also those who are just keeping the hospital running, which is equally important. And, um, and perhaps you should take a moment uh, just to remember those who are currently suffering from the disease and their families and their loved ones and our thoughts and prayers are with you all. But to everyone assigned to this facility, um, and you've said in the hope that it never actually gets used, but thank you for being there when you're needed um, and ready and willing to care with compassion and to maintain that those ethos and the values of your predecessors such as Florence Nightingale and Mary Seacole. Now, <clears throat> As you probably realized, um, the drawback of this arrangement is that I can't actually reach the cord um, to unveil the plaque. So can I ask Sir Stephen if you would be so kind um, as to unveil the plaque on my behalf um, as I declare the Jersey General Hospital Nightingale Wing open. Excellent. And a, a very fine job, if I might say so, Stephen. I, I, I also want to add, uh, what you don't know is that I'm, I'm actually looking from the back of the room. It's the very strange experience of being at the back of the room watching you all from behind. So, um, but anyway, uh, I wish you all the best of luck. And as I said, I hope the facility is never, never required. But thank you, everybody. Thank you. Sir, thank you very much indeed for your time and your very kind words. A very appetite uh, at this particular time. Uh, the only group that I would just like to add, if I may say particularly thank you, are to the local people in this parish of St. Lawrence. They have actually put up with some very carefully thought through, but nevertheless quite a lot of disturbance in the last three or four weeks, and they have done so largely without a single complaint. In actual fact, we've been surprised that the girth of many of the workers has not improved as much as it should have done, as cakes and biscuits and everything else have been delivered here for them to consume. But, sir, thank you very much indeed for coming. It's a great pleasure to have had you here in this unique virtual ceremony. Thank you very much indeed. My pleasure. Thank you. Good luck.